Hello, welcome. Are you sick of slow computer? Are you sick of anything not processing properly? Well, we can help you there. Now, what you need to do, you can upgrade your CPU to your computer. Just check online for what, what CPU you can use on your computer. We're using our Compact Test Pro again, and I'm going to show you how to upgrade the CPU on it. Also, because it has, when your computer gets very slow and you've upgraded your memory to your maximum, it still goes very slow, it could possibly be the CPU that it could be lacking. So what you need to do is you need to replace the CPU. So, what you need to do is when you get your CPU that you cool it, you have your cool like that, and you have your fan, something like that. I've already unattached the side bit like that, down the side. You probably just start a little bit there, and uh, you unclip that, and then you you put that by pulling it forward. So if you pull the forward uh, CPU heatsink forward, and then lift off the CPU heatsink. So around the bottom, you can see um, some CPU grease or not. If it doesn't, then you need to worry. You do need to worry if there isn't any, because if there isn't any, then um, the CPU is probably fried. Anyway, so here we have our old Intel processor. We need to take this out to replace it with our new processor. So take it out simply by lifting the zip lever like that from up like from down like that to up and lift it up like that so you hear the click that means so you lift it up and you then hold the side of the processor sorry if I'm getting in the way but you lift it up like that so you can see the pins and everything like that and then you place your CPU like that so whoops fell off my hands anyway now we'll get our new CPU which has already got the thermal paste put on it already for us and this one's the better CPU so what you need to do is you need to take it over it's very easy to do with this upgrade so just take it, put it in, line it up on your computer PC and it should just slot in easy as packed so basically what you do is you put it on like that and it should just slot in like that easy as that and then you push down your lever again like that and just in that place like that now Ours has already CPU grease on it. You you should if you haven't you need to apply some on this on the processor. Only on small ones like this, the tedious bit in the world. Literally don't need a lot. I found out. Um so once you've done that you need to then attach this bit here at the end onto the end bit down here. So you push it down like that. And you push that bit down. I don't think you can see, but it's, it's like that. You just do that, and then you get your screwdriver and come down the side, push it down again because it came out, like that, and push it forward. And then around the side, you'll see the CPU um, bits and pieces like this. That can, can put that in there again out because this one on it's only then no right so you push that down like that so until they hear the click like that that tells you you've got your CPU in place so once you've got your CPU in place you then need to make sure it's secure so you wobble it a bit and you pull it in front and the next thing you know if it is then you need to plug in uh, plug in your fan so what you need to do is you've got your fan three pin connector there you need to find the three pin connector for your CPU which is down there for us and you need to just two place like that or flip it in whatever um, and then that's about it really for the CPU test put it all back together mix it all up and then turn on your computer and find out whether it works thank you for watching for watching uh, um, upgrading a uh, socket 3 cent computer